Today we're unboxing the Arma Creighton 6S V5 and that's coming up next year on Jesse B Motors. I think we broke something already. Don't forget if you like content like this go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Welcome back this is going to be a bit of a different unboxing because this thing is huge. This is the biggest RC that I've ever bought and the most expensive and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you some of the features of the V5 and show you what comes with it and then we're going to take it out and run it. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see from looking at this we got a lot of new designs on the version 5. We've got a stronger chassis, we got a center brace for more durability, we got a waterproof large receiver box, we got a new controller, new receiver for that controller. We got some uh, new front top plates. We've got new strut mounts. We just got a bunch of new stuff on here. Uh, we got the new EXB top plate on this. We've got the uh, Safety D first gears. We got the Safety D input gears. This thing has got a ton of new stuff. Front uh, heavy duty A arms front and rear. We got the new motor, new ESC, and the new servo. This thing has got a ton of new stuff on it, and that's what makes it great. You can see this is ready to run, waterproof. We got Metal Gears 6X capable. This is a brushless system, and you got a two-year warranty on everything. The only thing you need is your AA batteries, LiPo bag, charger, and LiPos to get this thing up and running. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is a radio, and yes, there's a sticker on it already. This is the same radio that goes to my 3S Typhon, so I already got them marked so I know which one's what. But as you can see here, you got a AB switch here. Trigger's got plenty of room for your finger and feels good. You got your phone steering wheel. And then we got our steering trim, throttle trim, and your steering rate right there. We're going to flip it over. You got your on-off button. And then you got your steering reverse, throttle reverse, and throttle trim. This has got 50, 75, and 100 on it. And also, it takes four AA batteries to get it going. And this is a great radio. Like I said, my Typhon has it and I've been using it and I really like it. Now we're going to see what comes in the bag because this comes with a lot from what I can see in here. We'll go ahead, first bag we open up here, go ahead and you can see we got our big wrench here. Then we got our little lug wrench here and we got a bunch of uh, Allen wrenches. Everything you need to work on this and this big one, this is a nice hex wrench here. Got all the different sizes with it. That's a real nice touch that Arma gives you that. And then we're going to also go in here. Next thing we pull out of here, you got your speed pinion here. They say don't run this unless you're just running on pavement. And then we're going to go ahead. What else we got in here? All right. We got a bunch of different shock pistons there. That's nice. They give you a bunch of those. And yes, there's more. They got a lot of stuff in the bag here. And then here they got a shim kit. And they're saying that after the you bed the gears, they go ahead and shim them in the rear. Because I guess they've had a lot of problems with the rear diffs on these. So they want you to shim it up so you don't have no problems. Then we'll go ahead. And we got a sticker sheet here. That's real nice. And then we got a little thing here telling you about when and when not to use that speed pinion. And you got it in a couple of different languages. That's a nice touch. And then we'll go ahead. And see what else is in here because we do got more my bag was tore at the wrong end when I got it so that's why I'm not using it at the other end but we got a warranty information sheet here and then we got the owner's manual and we're gonna open it up here you got your diagrams of all the different trucks nice pictures part numbers everything you need to know looks like a very good instruction book on it that's perfect. So let's go ahead and try to get the truck out and look at it. As you can see, I opted for the blue one and I can't even get it in the whole camera screen where I do my inside filming. But I already went over all the new stuff that was on this that was on the box with you guys. So there's really not much to show you. You already know what these look like. So let's do the fun thing. Let's get this outside and let's run it. All right, everybody. We're actually out at my speed run spot. And the reason for that is all that snow you've seen in my previous videos has melted and my yard is a muddy mess and I don't feel like getting this beast all muddy yet but we're gonna have some fun here you can see Kelby's got his drone up there 
It's real windy, but we're gonna have some fun out here. We're just gonna rip it up and down the parking lot here. Ooh, that is fast. This is now the most fast and powerful RC I own. And yes, I do see that snow over there and that is looking tempting. We might have to do some jumps by the end of it. But man, this thing, even on the pavement, I could probably do a backflip. This thing just wheelies on demand. Man, that is awesome. I bought this to be like the ultimate basher. Now, I didn't get the EXB because I didn't want to spend all the extra money for extra electronics. Ooh, I figured the stack of stock electronics would be good enough for me since I'm not used to this stuff. And this is now my biggest, baddest RC car. Man, that is fun with the wheelies. All right. Let's go over here and take a look at these snow piles here. I'm going to see what's behind them because I see a piece of wood here. I want to make sure I don't hit that wood. So it looks like first we'll go down here. And there's no wood down here at these ones. Definitely not as muddy here as it is at my house. Ooh. And right there is the first scratches on the body of many more to come. Let's get a flip back over here. And of course, I definitely got to get used to this. Ooh, that was a good jump. And I did spray this down. If you saw my uh, video, I'll put a link up above the how to snowproof your RC. I did do all that to this RC, so I am not too worried about it. We got Kelby with his drone up there. So I'm not worried about running in the snow because I did all that already. Oh, and we flipped it. All right, let's go ahead and rip it down the grass here. That was a little bit of full throttle. This thing is quick. I want to watch it coming at me. But I do see a perfect spot right here. And of course, we're going to send it. All right, not bad at all. Come back around this way. And of course, this is doing what I want. It's jumping good. And that's what I wanted this for. Was to do some jumping. Woo, got out of the gas a little bit too hard. About spun it out. Farmer's already plowed over here. Woo, that was close with Kelby's drone. Oh. Hit that wood hard, but we're still going. So far, this thing's doing some good bashing. That was a hard hit on that wood. That was a chassis smack and a half right there. Go ahead and try this again, coming from this way. Perfect. This thing is a beast, guys. I had to sell some of my other RCs to be able to buy this. So my uh, collection is a little bit low now. Ooh, look at that grass snuckering in it. <laughs> but I think it was well worth getting rid of some of the RCs I had to get rid of to buy this thing. I think it was money well worth it. <laughs> Ooh, didn't see that log there. Let's go ahead and get that grass out of there. That was a big old chunk. Look at that big old chunk that came out of that. <laughs> okay, let's walk down here a little bit further where I see some bigger snow we're going to try to run on. 
here I came out here because I didn't think there was no snow to bash on. We still got these big old uh, snow mounds out here. So we might as well take advantage of them while we can. All right, now I can see what I'm doing over here. Jumping off that with absolutely no issues. Ooh, that's fun. Probably get a little jump here. Ooh, that was nice. I think I found another fun little area here. Got the drone back over here checking out what's going on again. Too bad he's not videoing. He's just out having fun with it. Kelby actually likes playing with the drones more than he does the RCs. I told him I was bringing this out. He goes, cool, I'll bring my drone out. But man, this thing is a beast. Oh, and we flipped it over. All right, guys, I'm really, really, really liking this thing. Lawn dart. This thing is a blast. Kelby landed his drone, so you know what the next thing is. Dad, can I have my turn? Let me get him. <laughs> he said after he puts everything away, yes. So I'm going to go ahead and get this foot back over here. This is a nice little area right here to do some bashing. Whew, that is fun. Oh, we broke something. I think we broke something already. Yep. Screw for the steering arm came out, but guess what? I think the screw's still there and I brought my tools with, so we'll get that fixed here real quick. All right, guys, I got it fixed here. Now I want to know from you guys. That just gave me a video idea if you want to see it. Would you guys like to see a video? What do I bring when I come out to somewhere like this? What's in my tool bag? Is that what you guys should call would call it? Leave a comment down below if you guys want to see what I bring out with me when I'm away from my house running RCs like this. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let's get Kelby out here so he can run this. Okay, now Kelby's going to drive it here. He's staying high here. He's going to let it rip out here in the parking lot. Hopefully he's careful and don't hit us or anything with it. This thing is a beast. Woo! I don't like him coming to at me like that. <laughs> is that okay if I jump the snow pile? Yeah, you can go ahead and let's jump some snow piles. Hopefully the arms don't pop off again. I'm kind of highly disappointed to buy a $700, or I mean a $600 RC and have a screw come out. But that's my own fault. When you guys have ready to runs, you really should go through every screw and tighten them up and go through the shocks and everything. I didn't do that just because we were excited to play with it. So now Kelby's out here. He's going to rip it. I'll go ahead and flip it back over for him. Okay, we got him flipped back over here. He's just going to run around up on top of the snow and jump up and down it. Getting that four-wheel drive action going. The amount of snow that just went into my face. Go ahead and bring it around over there unless you want to turn around to jump it back over this way. He's going to go see which way it's pointing. Bad thing about this big snow pile. You got to position yourself just right to figure out where you're at now let's see if he's gonna oop yep he jumped up from the bottom about took himself out i'm gonna come up here and have some more fun in the snow with it nice jumping kelby Ooh! and like i said when i scratched it the first time many more scratches to come that's the third time it's been on its roof in this first run. This is too heavy to flip over my foot. Yep, it is heavy. All right, he got a foot back over here. Let's see if he can jump without hitting me. Ooh, he's getting some freestyle monster truck action going on. <laughs> now he's running back out in the parking lot again. I have a feeling I should move. 
Yeah, me too. Kelby's crazy, and if he says, yeah, me too, he's up to something. What's he gonna do here? <laughs> he totally missed and out into the field it goes but it landed he can drive it back can you see it yep he can see it all right i have a feeling he's going to try to go for an epic jump here if he don't take me out first let's see if he does something epic here all right i'm going to stand over here and let's see what he does here and it just blasted right into the snow. <laughs> it did a snow plow. <laughs> Let's flip it back over. Right here. here he comes running. Oh, that was a good jump, dude. He going out into the field. He said, I'm out of here. <laughs> He's singing country songs. Ooh, that was a wall right there. Testing that front end out. Let the snow fly. All right, I think Kelby's going to rip it one more time for a jump here, and then we'll end out the video. Let's see what this does. Oh, he took a bunch of snow with him and landed it. Good job. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to end it off here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the first run video of this. Kelby and I had a blast with this. As always, I'll leave links down below for you guys to check out everything we used today. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok on Facebook. Don't forget I got an RC group over there, RC Car Life. Come over, join in on the fun. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.